Hi, Maximo TV. This is Gabrielle Loren, and you are with me at the 42nd Annual NAACP Awards Luncheon. We spoke with your favorite nominees. Let's go see what they had to say. Tell me about the NAACP Awards today that we're here for. Any of you nominated? I'm nominated. You're nominated? Yes. Okay. So what goes into a nomination? How do you obtain a nomination? I have no idea. This is my <laughs> first year. I think, actually, you, your show will submit you. And... And then you're luck, you know, lucky enough to be voted on. And you got me. I'm just your happy. Network, to you know, your network of submit your work, and then you know, and then the NAACP looks at that. They look at the image that 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 exudes, and then they say, hmm, yeah, that's that's worthy of that. What are you guys expecting for today? What goes on at an NAACP Image Award? Well, my husband's been nominated before, so I don't know. What are we gonna do? Have a well. Honestly, I mean, you know, with this, fortunately, what I love is that although they, they, they're they usually sticklers for tradition, they usually change things up. Um, so there usually are some pleasant surprises from, you know, from year to year where they're trying to sort of break things up, make it a little cooler, make it a little smoother. No matter what, your nomination doesn't change what your work already is. So whether you win or you don't win, your work is what it is. It's not going to be any greater. It's not going to be any worse whether you win or lose. So the best thing to do is to just enjoy the experience of it and keep rolling from there. Tell me a little bit about the NAACP Image Awards. Why is it so important to be here today? Okay, well, I've been a member of the NAACP since, you know, I think my mom signed me up when I was like six or seven years old. And I think it's important because we need positive reflections of ourselves. Being a dark-skinned African-American woman on a daytime drama is very rare, and to have the opportunity to be recognized for that is it's really exciting. So it's very important. What projects we have in the future? Anything coming up for you? Well, I actually am under contract with Young and the Restless, and I'm like, oh, which is rare because they have very few African-Americans under contract. Yeah. So I'm going to stick in Genoa City as long as they have me, hopefully have some affairs and everything. I've noticed that you've been rubbing your stomach, and it's either you're hungry or pregnant. Yes. Well, it's, it's the second one. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Is it a girl or a boy? Yes, it's a boy. Yeah, yeah, come here, you're right. I think it's both. Are you I think I'm hungry too? and I'm pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> always hungry when you're pregnant, so that's always, how it goes. Always, always. Every two hours I have to be eating something. They just announced you're now with NBC Universal, which yes. used to be Comcast. Yes. And you have a new reality show going on, right? Yes. yes. So tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Teen Tamira, take two. Uh, this is our second television show we're obviously doing together. And I think 10, 15 years. Oh, girl. Was 15? 15? Maybe 12. Okay, 12. It probably is 15, but I don't want to accept that now. Okay. <laughs> um, but it's basically a show that's going to follow us around covering Tia's uh, pregnancy, what she's going through while she's pregnant, and me while I'm planning my, my wedding. But on top of that, um, we have a production company. So they're just going to follow us balancing the sister act yeah. um, and normal life, and then as co workers. Yeah. It's going to be cute. I, I think our fans are definitely in for a treat. Yeah. There's so much going on in our lives right now. So yeah, We've missed you too. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank so you. when is it going to be on television? When in the we summer. We don't have an exact uh, premiere date, but yeah. definitely in the summer on Style Network. Yeah, Style Network. The show that you're on, House of Pains, right? Uh -huh. Is it nominated for an NAACP award? Yes, it is. It is. How about that? I believe uh, the company or the production company, which is Tyler Perry Studios, Got, I believe, 19 nominations. So, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So are you involved in more than one of those? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We got it for show, and then I got it for Outstanding Actor mm -hmm. in a comedy series. So, yeah. I'm great. I'm honored. Can I say that? Yes, you can. Who would you like to work with in the future? Or maybe a show you'd like to guest star on? You know, I've never thought about that. I would love to guest star on my own show. <laughs> How about that? Your two checks, star on it and guest star on it. But uh, yeah, you know, there's a lot of them out. I, you know, I haven't been able to watch a lot of TV, and uh, but there's a lot of people. Usually on the spot, I can't think of whose names, and, but there are a few people. You know, I would love to work with Steven Spielberg. You know, would love to work with you know Mark Walden. So, uh, but uh, yeah, there's a few people. But. Yeah, any, anything that would be inspiring, you know, people that are doing what they love to do. I'm here because my movie Kenya Wanda won this year at Sundance Film Festival for the World Cinema Audience Award. 
Yeah. Kenya Wanda. Yeah, and I'm one of the actors in the movie. Yeah, my name is Tan Freeman. I play a woman in the movie called Lieutenant Rose. It's based off a real woman named Rose Kabuye from Rwanda, and a woman actually helped in the genocide. So my part of the role, my part of the movie is like that. And there's another part that's about the Muslims and the Christians, and it's about love and forgiveness, and that's why I'm here this year. So you were a lieutenant in this movie? Yes, I was. I shaved off all my hair. All my makeup was gone, and being in Rwanda, you're on the uh, you're on the equator. So I got much, much, much tanned. So I look like a very different woman in that movie. It was awesome, though. I'd really love to work with Rodney Jerkins and Claude Kelly, who's an amazing songwriter. He wrote like a bunch of my favorite songs. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to do that soon. What kind of performer would you say you are? What kind of performer? See more like. Kelly Clarkson, Miley Cyrus, that's very like my favorite genre of music and I'd love to be able to perform that music. And what kind of aspects about their performance do you think that you kind of take on? Um, I just love how, how they interact with the crowd and they really get them involved and they're just, they're fantastic performers. They perform for the crowd, which I really love. Like when I, in my spare time, like I'll go online and search like videos of them performing just to study and just to see what they're doing. And do you do the same with acting? Um, yeah, I, I do the same with acting all the time, actually. Like, I'll go online and search. One of my favorite actresses is Meryl Streep, and I eventually want to get into really, like, dramatic roles and do movies and stuff. So I really study her work, because she's amazing.